Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show you one of our new uh, products. It's a 555 timer uh, oscillator, a signal generator if you will, square wave from uh, 1 hertz to 500 kilohertz. And uh, Now this is done uh, using uh, adjustments via 10K trims for RA and RB. Right here is RA, right here is RB. For those of you who are fluent in 555 timers you'll know what I'm talking about. You can adjust the duty cycle and the frequency ranges with those two uh, variable resistors and there's also four different uh, uh, segments so you can choose between uh, a maximum of uh, 550 Hertz uh, down to 1 Hertz and that's the mode we're in right now it's close to uh, 50 Hertz so I can break, bring it down to roughly 1 Hertz I might do that in a minute it's a bit difficult to do it from this perspective uh, if you have the jumper on the second slot from the outside, the slot, the jumper is on the first slot closest to the 555 timer. If you have it on the second slot, you'll have a, a, mag a frequency range of 50 hertz to 1 kilohertz, so that's 1000 hertz. If you use the third jumper, your range will be 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. And if you use, if you place the jumper on the final jumper set, your range will be 10 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz. It's a fun little circuit, really well designed uh, uh, module. There are three pins for interface, VCC, ground and out. They're labeled on the board. Don't mess up your wiring or else you'll damage your 555 timer. Again, VCC is 5 volts. You can bring it up to 9 volts if you want, 5 to 9 volts. Ground uh, is DC ground and your output is your uh, is representative of that LED. Now, when you get to higher frequencies, it'll just be on because you won't, your eyes can't distinguish that high frequency. Uh, and that's why I'm going to be using the oscilloscope for some of uh, the further demonstrations here. So let me just try to bring the, uh, bring the oscillation frequency down to close to 1 hertz. So I'm going to mess with RA right now. As you can see, frequency is down to close to 1 hertz right now. Now what I can do is I can take my jumper off the output will be unstable during the time the jumper's off and I'll place it onto my second jumper. Now I'm going to have to bring out the oscilloscope. Right now it's about 50 Hertz on the second on the second jumper set so I'm going to mess with uh, RA in this case and I'm going to heighten the frequency to about 1 kilohertz. Now if you turn it too far all the way to the right, it, it'll get a little bit funky. But that's 1 kilohertz right there. So I'm going to bring it down to 50 again, roughly 50 hertz. And I'm going to take the jumper off and put it on to the third slot. So just take me a second. Again, during the time that you have your jumper off, if it's powered on, your output will become unstable. So the third slot. Let's just... As you can see, the frequency is up significantly. This is our 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz range. So, make the frequency higher again to the maximum of roughly 10 kilohertz. There we go. A little bit of overshoot there. I'll bring it back out to 1 kilohertz. And we'll try our 10 kilohertz or sorry, our 1 kilohertz, we'll, we'll bring it to our fourth set, which is a range of 10 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz. I'm going to take off the jumper one more time. The output will become unstable. And there we go. So let me just bring that out. There we go. So this is our 10 kilohertz. It just changed from uh, the minimum of... Uh, 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. I brought the frequency down to 1 kilohertz, and now it starts off by default at a minimum of uh, 10 kilohertz, and it'll go up to 500 kilohertz. And I'm just adjusting RA. I'm not playing with RB because I don't want to be dinking around with the duty cycle. But this is our maximum. Now the 555 timer can go up to 1 megahertz, but it, the signal becomes fairly unstable. So I'm just going to keep turning RA right until we reach uh, roughly 500 kilohertz. Now I'm going to be actually playing with RB right now just to see what, what I can achieve. Oh, if I bring R, RB too far to the left, signal becomes unstable. So you got to play around with it, but it's a really, really neat device. Really easy to use. 
five to nine volts ground and you got your output and it's really easy to calibrate uh, just by using a little screwdriver so I'll have a wiring out uh, you know a little diagram on the listing it will be able that you will be able to find this at engineeringshock.com and electronic lessons.com so thanks for watching everyone